Hey you guys. Oh, I'm um, pissing myself up Norton. So if I had have asked my doctor, I'm sure I would have said no. <laughs> oh, I want to make sure that if I can get up Norton, then I know that I'm doing okay because that was the first climb I ever did. And uh, they got me into, properly into climbing. It was such an achievement. Norton's like, you know, that real popular one here in Adelaide, for those who don't know. So popular, it's the main climb here. Five kilometers, 5% 5 average gradient. Um, and I just wanted to see, because it's been a week since I've ridden. It took about a week to recover. But um, I was going up and down in the last one. So this one I want to see if I can just keep going up. Up and up and up and up and up. And see how, so far so good. I've been going from the city, 14 kilometers, almost 15 kilometers. And my speed is sitting around nine kilometers and that's between nine and 10 kilometers an hour at the moment. So it's, it's not too bad, hey? <laughs> my breathing's okay, my lungs. Um, and I just feel like, oh no now, if I can do this and my lungs can handle it, then I know it's just right. Okay, so just build my fitness back up and see how to just uh, suss out my recovery too. See if that, um, yeah, just monitor all of that. It's a good way to test it. Gently, gently. That's why I've got Dan here with me in case I cark it and he can help me. And also he keeps pacing to make sure I don't go too fast. He's making sure I do this steady and so and uh, consistently. Drinking water and cycling up here at the same time. <laughs> but, we're, you're filming me, Dan, filming me in case I can't get right now. Get it on camera. <laughs> this is like autumn and it's like um, 22 degrees today. I'm going so warm. Everything I say, you should print it on a t shirt. Everything I do, you can read it on Twitter. What's a girl gotta do? What's a girl gotta do? I'm dripping in blue, check out my lemon soup. I'm a double but cute, I'm witty like you. I'm visibly cool, but vanilla and fruits. I like it, pick it smooth. You like, you let me pick it. All of my friends, they were lady as hell. Run it, let's go face with the lady. You guys, I'll show you, I'll put that up there. My very first time up Norton Summit was 30 minutes and 25 seconds. And that was back on March the 24th, 2020. Oh, that was like, that was like two years ago, almost, almost to the day. So basically I'm pretty much at the same. I'm slightly, I, I could have probably, maybe I could have pushed myself a bit more today, but yeah, I'm basically at the same level as I was when I very first started um, cycling in the hills and stuff so yeah that's okay I reckon I reckon we can um yeah Dan's over there I reckon what do you reckon do you reckon we can go up all the way there lofty mm. how much further to mount to the top of lofty 8k's I think 8k's a little bit more climbing a little bit some uphill but mainly yeah uphill downhill yeah. And then, and how much elevation have we done? So I can't oh. see it on mine because mine doesn't calculate the elevation. You can't see it on the Garmin, but 500 meters climbing. I reckon we should do some more. Yeah, yeah I'm, up, I'm up for it. Even if it takes me a week to recover from this, it's good. I don't think it will though. <laughs> you know, that's how tall he really was. Really? And as big as he really was? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it is life like he's a pretty big person. He's well Yeah, well, yeah, how is he compared to you? Yeah. Same height. <laughs> oh that's true. But he's just so I'm on but he's but he's, but he's but he's solid, like he's really he's twice your yeah. <laughs> width. He's like, and his feet are just <sighs> And look at his and look at his head, like his, he's got a big 
His like nose it, is like... <laughs> I don't think it, it can't... And his belly, he's got a belly. I don't think it's like that. <laughs> you go up Woods Hill, then instead of turning and just going direct, you go down to Galton. You know why this is called Woods Hill? Because it looks like you're in the woods. But you're not out of the woods yet. I, I forgot to look up. I was just so busy looking down. <laughs> it's so pretty. I forgot how pretty it is out here. I'm just going slow. I'm going like... We just went like, up the steep bit. I just got... No what, worries. So what was the gradient? Oh, 10% or something. Because I was going first good. 10%, that's where my five kilometers now. Oh, it's like the dad had to remind me to slow down and just pace it. I have a tendency to push still. <laughs> How are you feeling heading into this 15% gradient? I don't know, it's like I can see what's coming. This is the only hard bit after that, you just got Sprig Road, oh. which is easy. It's funny because it's like my legs are fine, they can do it, it's just my breathing, so it's not really. I don't know, it's a weird feeling. I've, it's not the feeling of, of being unfit. It's a different feeling. It's like I can't quite describe it. Yeah. It's like a, It's just like I'm breathing heavy. It's hard. But I'm not tired or my muscles aren't sore. It's bizarre. My ride just auto-paused because we're going so slow. <laughs> Mine does that as well, which is why my average speed is better now that I've got the Garmin yeah. because the Straven on the phone doesn't pause, whereas this one does. <laughs> well, yeah, it does it. It takes. Oh, oh my God! Oh, that was that was an effort. I think it's just because breathing is an effort as well, whereas usually. When you can breathe fine, there's no effort in that part of your body. <sighs> Respiratory effort. We're just like 
kilometers from the city. <laughs> I love it. It's so cool. So it's good because it's hard. It's not easy, but it's not hard in a way that I expected it to be hard. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a really weird feeling that I haven't experienced before of, um, yeah. Yeah. Of exhaustion. You're actually finding it's not exhausting like you can't find the thought of mine. Not in the way, yeah. Not the way I'm used to experiencing exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool. And with this knowledge that my heart's okay, my blood's okay, somebody can survive on one lung. Yeah. Um, all of this kind of combined to help. Yeah, yeah and then knowing. You nourish those thoughts. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I could be in an easier gear. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I've got so many more gears to go. Ah, oh, that's easier. I always in this really hard gear. <laughs> oh, now I'm just spinning instead of pushing. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> nice to remember to change gear. <laughs> It's been a while since I've stood and ridden like that. That's good. Now my legs are doing more. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> kilometers 900 meters elevation <sighs> yeah what an achievement yeah, lofty spring water. <laughs> 